Hello everyone, and this is another Dakota Dino review with Ross. We're reviewing another Brachiosaur, and this one I'm going to have to go handheld on. This is the big Papo Brachiosaurus from 2012, I believe. It does not fit in my frame otherwise. So we're going to try and do a lot of it handheld. So we're going to look at scientific quality, playability, and artistic quality on this one. So let's get let's start at the base here. On the feet, we have one, two, three, four toes, and we have one of those toes looking very claw-like towards the inside. That's good. That is scientifically accurate with skeletal remains. On the back, we have one, two, three, four toes. Two of them are kind of claw-like, two of them are kind of hoof-like. That's good as well. Uh, if we keep them coming around here, up the legs, we have a nice strong leg. Look at all the musculature in these legs. As far as texture quality, they did kind of an elephant skin, but they did it in a different way than the Mojo one that we looked at. This is finely detailed skin. The creases are not reaching out and slapping you in the face, but they are there, and you can feel them at first, and then when you look closely, you can definitely see them as well. We have a hint of rib cage through here. I mean, and look at these muscles going up all the way across the shoulder, attaching to the spine. I mean, you can definitely see how this animal was put together. We have that shorter tail on here. Good, held high on this one. Something that we didn't really touch on on the other ones, but uh, everything shows that they wouldn't have held their tails very low. The other two figures that we reviewed mm -hmm. did not have them dragging on the ground, at least. This particular Papo, I did not get in stores. This one I got off of eBay, and I got a pretty good deal on it. I think it was around 25 bucks, And there are not terrible quality issues anywhere. So if we look on the jaw here, you can see open mouth, very small eye. We have that red eye with a black center. Uh, we have our nostril hole. And then on this side, same stuff, obviously. In the mouth, nice little tongue. Painting quality looks great. And this is not an articulated jaw. It does have a crease here, and it makes me think that it would be articulated, but that was probably just an easier way to mold it, mold the jaw separately and attach it. So that's the way that looks. Boy, look at how that neck just comes up so gracefully and then out into the head you know it's got a definite curve right here it's just a nice nice look to it it doesn't look like a, a head on the end of a pole like sometimes they can and let's keep turning them around here on the back side let's come down the neck here between the legs you can see the seams in some places from the mold but that's something that I don't have too much of a problem with lets me know that it was produced in mold I guess I don't I just don't have a problem with it uh, all the creasing going up the neck again nicely finely detailed we have an ear hole right behind the head you can see there and if we turn them over detail nice detail on the uh, dermal ridges on the feet and nice detail coming along the belly all the way back to cloaca back here we have our details stamped on the bottom down there right away I'm, I'm just gonna throw it out there right away this is definitely a 10 out of 10 on artistic quality um, the painting is great they've definitely gone in and they did a, a dark layer in here to really bring those sculptural qualities out because even when the light's shining on it it still looks like it's in shadow that means that they definitely have a darker paint in there uh, the paint transition between the underside and the back is awesome there's not a, a hard cut off it's just kind of a nice blend going through there and paint quality I mean I don't have too many problems there for, for a used or secondhand uh, figure I think for $25 I got a, a heck of a steal. Um, 
So that's a 10 out of 10 on artistic quality. Scientific quality, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 again. Um, everything that I'm seeing is lining up with what I, I know to be scientifically accurate for these animals. Um, whether it's a brachiosaur for sure or a giraffe titan, I can't say for sure. If you don't watch the uh, uh, Your Dinosaurs Are Wrong videos, you should really check those out. He goes into great detail on uh, breaking apart some dinosaur figures and, di and dinosaur toys and telling us what is right and what is wrong. Look at the, the muscular ridge going down the uh, neck here. That's great. And then as far as playability, I'm actually going to lower the playability score here. We don't have the articulation and it's it's such a big toy that kids, I would I would think that this one, kids would have to do, would have to play two-handed with this one. So that's going to eliminate, you know, playing one animal against the other. So we need to, I mean, it's going to have to have like a 9 out of 10 on playability. I mean, it's a great quality to have a nice big toy like that, but it's heavy, it's hard, it's rigid, and I just, I don't see kids easily playing with these, at least not smaller kids. As they get older, yes, definitely. Let's see if we can get a weight here. Let me get my scale turned on. All right, and we're zeroed. So here we go, Papa Brachiosaur. Ooh, one pound, 15 and a quarter ounces. So, definitely heavy. Uh, it didn't I will say though that it does not feel as heavy as it is. I mean, it maybe it's the material, but it just didn't feel that heavy. I was surprised when I saw that. All right. So let's see. About right here, I'm going to be lined up with the head and tail. That's about 14 inches long. And. I bring this right up to the top of the head. We have about 12 inches tall. 14 inches long by 12 inches tall. So that is a substantial dinosaur figure. Great scores for the Papo Brachiosaur. If you're able to find it online or maybe some stores might still have them in stock, I would pick it up, uh, especially if you love sauropods. That is our review for today. As always, subscribe, like, down here. And let me know what you think of the reviews in the comments. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you on the next one.